at all. Um, I know I normally do real life videos and uh, don't really do game stuff, but uh, this is Minecraft and I just wanted to show you a little uh, trick. I'd say I discovered, but I'm, <laughs> I'm more than certain that millions of other people have figured it out by now. Um, but I haven't seen a video on YouTube um, demonstrating how this works, so um, I thought I'd show you, which I have seen some suggestions on how to do this, but um, they haven't worked very well and they involve using redstone torches for light, which uh, isn't terribly great. Anyway, this is my uh, monster farm thing, <laughs> so this is a collection area here. Um, so this is all pretty standard stuff. It's not much to look at, but it's functional. Um, what was that dying there? This is the uh, lava blade. Uh, an approaching creeper. He was trying to escape. I'll come collect the uh, sulfur from him. Uh, sulfur? Gunpowder from him later. So this is the collection area. I need to come up with the more aesthetically pleasing look to that area there. Uh, but up here is the control room. Now, as you know, well, initially I needed a way to observe the spawn area, just to see if there's anything going on there, if there's a blockage or something. Um, so I've set up a window in here that allows me to see down there, but as you, as you are aware, you need to keep complete darkness in your spawn area for the monsters to spawn. So what I needed was a room where I could have it lit up when I wanted it, and I could put it in darkness when I didn't need it to be lit up. Um, so in, basically I needed a light switch, and uh, this is what I've created here. Now the problem is when the lights are off, monsters will spawn in the control room. And it's a little bit too dark for me to find the switch at the moment, but it is here somewhere. <laughs> oh, here we go. And there we go, we have a light. Let's just check that nothing's spawned in here. So we've got two little observation rooms down here where we can look out and see the uh, monsters in the spawning area. Uh, I'm intending to put uh, to put together a, like a light switch system down there as well at some point, but that's a much bigger project. Uh, so basically this is how it's done. So there's a dem another demonstration of the light switch working. Off and on. Right, so this is how it works. Okay, um, I've left the wiring exposed. Uh, you don't have to. I just got lazy and left it showing. And I only had one layer of ground to work with before I was down in the spawning room. So, here's how it works. I'm going to stick this switch in the wall here. Um, obviously your layout will vary. So what you're going to need, obviously the standard stuff, switch, redstone. Then you're going to need, for each light, you want a piston, like so, and a, a piece of gravel, which is on top, and a light source, which can be either glowstone or torches. Uh, I actually prefer glowstone because it gives off more light, but I ran out so I had to just use torches for now, I'll replace that with glowstone later. Um, right, so you're going to need one piston, one gravel, and one light spot, light source. And you will also need, depending on the size of the room you're trying to light, oops, <laughs> some redstone repeaters. So I'm going to just pick that up. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> some redstone repeaters. Right. So, literally, you just need to run your cable, your redstone, from the switch through any necessary necessary repeaters and redstone that's next to a piston when you run current through it will cause the piston to rise up so what I've done is I've dug a hole where there's going to for each piston I've dug a hole in the floor and put the piston in the hole so that when it's retracted it's uh, flat on the ground when it's raised it lifts up the gravel that's on top so when the gravel is resting on the floor it's covering up whatever's producing the light when it's raised the light source is exposed and it can shine out um, so I've just, I'm just using one switch to power the whole room. Um, so the power comes along here. I've just literally just run a cable to each piston, like so. Uh, the power can only run 16 blocks. That's when you need repeaters to uh, amplify the uh, distance. <laughs> um, 
And that's essentially it. Uh, that's how you set up a light switch system in Minecraft. Well, it's the best way I've found. Um, if you know a better way, link a video or post a comment. Uh, obviously, you can make yours look a bit more pleasing than mine, but uh, they say mine's just kind of a proof of concept thing. Anyway, good night.